Hello again, Donnie Trophy, and welcome to another video, and a bit of a surprising video, because uh, obviously I wasn't originally going to be uploading on, on Sunday today, but anyway, this is a bit of a surprise video, and this is part two of my Dominic, uh, of my DT, getting to know me slash AMA video, so I hope that you look forward to this. Um, I was thinking earlier on, because, you know, the fact that um, I was given a bit of feedback from a lot of people, several people, who were kind of upset that the video was originally going to be uploaded on Monday tomorrow but anyway today is the day and part two will be uploaded today Sunday now we will get on the questions and for those who are wondering they're on paper this time so there's no more flipping and floundering with uh, phones and everything so anyway paper on here um, now these remaining questions were actually um, asked by two people um, a friend of mine uh, called Bethany who, who texts me uh, a few questions. I answered uh, some of hers last week, uh, sorry, uh, on um, you know Friday, uh, as well as a few other people. And the other questions, some of the others, are from a, um, a YouTuber, well, a subscriber called um, Evil Melon. So I just want to say thank you both uh, for answering these questions, as well as the other people who answered, who, who I answered their questions. So anyway, enough of that, let's get to the questions. First one is, um, how has gaming affected your life? Um, I think in the meantime I wouldn't say it's not it's not affecting anything because obviously I'm not working, I'm looking for work. But sometimes when I was working last year, uh, video games kind of put a setback. You know, I didn't really play that much. And um, I think sometimes I missed it and then sometimes I didn't. But it did feel a little bit different, so it did. Um... How many hours a day do you spend playing video games? Um, honestly, not a lot, really. Usually, over, over about a day, it can be about half an hour, 40 minutes. Uh, years ago, I spent like literally like, two, three hours playing all sorts. Um, but I think because obviously me getting older and stuff, you know, I still play video games, but I don't play as much, you know. But also, I'm interested in other things and stuff, and I sometimes feel, I sometimes feel that I, I just don't want to play video games. Which is kind of like a shock horror, shock horror for a lot of people, but that's just how I am, really. It's just the way it goes. Um, your favourite subscriber. I honestly don't really have a favourite subscriber. Um, maybe, like, so I'll see what happens in the far, you know, uh, future and stuff. Um, I know a friend of mine, and he's a really, really good friend of mine, and we've, we've known each other about a year and stuff. And, um, like I so said, we have this favourite, you know, you know, um, interest and stuff, he, he loves video games and stuff, and uh, it's just nice that way, but that's what I'd say is that friend of mine. Um, where do you see yourself in six months, two years, and five years? I think overall, I'd say in a job, you know what I mean, hopefully in a job. Um, I'd love to see in five years, hopefully living on my own, uh, so at that point I'll be 25, uh, sorry, 27, sorry, 27. Um, Obviously, I'll, I'll, you know, I, I will be an uncle to my niece, um, you know, from next month, hopefully, and everything will be going good. Um, but I think, hopefully, you know, like, work, you know, a job, hopefully have a girlfriend, uh, living together. I think, hopefully, YouTube, I'm, I hope I'm still on YouTube at that point, celebrate my 10th anniversary. That'd be really, really good, that, but as I said, I'll have to wait and see, really. Um... Biggest regrets, um, I actually have a few regrets, um, overall, I think one, and I'd say is, um, not being able to experience things when I was younger, and the reason being is because of the fact that my family were very overprotective of, overprotective of me, especially with my autism, and there was a lot of things I wanted to do, but I was unable to do them through that, and if I wanted to try and disobey the rules, Obviously, they wouldn't like it. They wouldn't, like, you know, slap me, but they would be really, really annoyed saying, why are you doing that? You know what I mean? Like, for example, with shopping on my own, like, going to place and stuff, I wasn't able to do that until I was 18. 18, you know what I mean? It, it just annoyed me now. Um, and I, I feel that as well, you know? I think um, not experiencing a lot of things and stuff at that age, but the way I was, I, obviously, I couldn't really do that. Um, but, yeah... Uh, modern, the type of modern games I play, um, I play a lot of, like, you know, Super Mario Maker, uh, being actually still playing through Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Wii U, um, 
I've been playing a bit of Rumble Pocket on the new 3DS, uh, which is a recent game that came out last week, and it's a fantastic, let's say this week, fantastic game, absolutely amazing. Um, relationship with anyone? No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not in a relationship with anyone. Um, opinions of general, opinions of general election or Brexit? Um, I have opinions on, I have opinions about like Brexit and stuff. I have my own opinions on the general election, but I don't really talk about that much. But with Brexit, I I think with the whole European Union stuff, I'm actually really glad that we left because we didn't really get much out of it when we were um, in Europe. Now that we are independent in our own country, uh, for our own country, we're able to do more stuff and experience and also uh, be entitled to a lot of stuff. It's kind of like when people move out from their parents, you know what I mean? Is that they're entitled to a lot more stuff, you know what I mean? And you experience more when you're not, like, um, like chained up, you know, chained to, like, you know, your parents and stuff. Because usually if you go out, you've got to be back, like, before time, you know what I mean? Or, unless you've got a key, you know what I mean? Um, that's just the way it goes. Uh, do I think YouTube's dying with everything going on? Um, I... I think with everything going on, it's, I'd say... Yes, uh, I know a lot more people are leaving YouTube as their main job because they're just not earning as much. I know uh, Mark from Classic Game Room and everyone from CGR Undertow, um, they had to close up shop basically because Mark and the rest of them were not earning as much. And um, we all thought it was going to be the end of both CGR Undertow and Classic Game Room. But it turned out what Mark was doing with CGR was that he was actually making it as a hobby, you know what I mean? But what a lot of people do is that they go through like Patreon or Twitch and stuff to make money that way. Or they do this super chat through um, live streams and stuff, you know what I mean? Because um, obviously with a lot of companies, they, they, they want to have um, good YouTubers that make, you know, friendly and polite content. Whereas a lot of them, well not all of them, they make a lot of kind of mature content that's like swearing and violence in it. And they don't want to, you know, be, you know, connected with them. Um, but a lot of them are starting to leave and stuff uh, to get an actual job. Um, favourite piece of clothing I have on? Um, I actually don't really have a favourite piece of clothing, um, so I don't. Um, which hobby would I get into in if time and money wasn't an issue? Video games. Video game hunting. Um, like, you know, just like going around different cities and, you know, looking out for games and stuff. Because uh, I love them. Um, a perfect room. Um, I kind of call this a perfect room, I've got all sorts really, but if I'd say perfect room, um, televisions, game consoles, uh, Doctor Who DVDs, the whole lot. Um, which fictional place would you like to go to, uh, would, would, would you, would I like to go to? Um, probably Doctor Who, the TARDIS, because I love that. Uh, the whole bigger on the inside, you know what I mean? Um, it'd be good, it'd be good to see that, you know what I mean? Um, <coughs> sorry, um, um, job I'd be terrible at, um, <laughs> I actually don't know, I really, really don't know, um, if I ever have an answer, I'll get back to you on that, um, age I want children, um, honestly, I'd love to have them around, like, around my age now, I'm 22 though, but I think I'd love to have them probably late 20s early 30s as, as i said i need to get a girlfriend you know I'm, it's just not one person that creates a child so <laughs> um what do i wish i knew more about um maybe about more like about the world and stuff i know I can, that's kind of a, a cliche answer to say um but i'd say maybe knowing new topics uh knowing new information i think i'd basically say you know what i mean um, best book or series I've watched or read. Um, best series I think again Doctor Who, uh, but I quite like Big Bang Theory. Um, best book I've read. Um, I've been actually going through a, the uh, an, a book about I've not read it in a while is the Doctor Who film from nineteen ninety six. You know with uh, Paul McGann. Um, it's a good book. It really really is. Uh, but there are a few Doctor Who books I definitely want to read. Um, how life? How was life different a year ago? Um, for me personally, I was obviously working, I, I was working for a few months back in June, um, 
Um, my sister obviously started dating, so she did. Um, and I think fact that all my family and stuff were, were doing okay. Uh, my uncle was a lot. It was actually in a lot better better health than now. It really. Um, but I think also like you know, as I said, just said working and earning and stuff, and I think just being happy as well. You know what I mean? Um, that was the thing about it, and also you know YouTube and stuff, which I do always thank. Um, I've got a few more questions. I've got six questions left. Um, age I want to live up to. Um, everyone always says they want to live up to two hundred. Really. Um, me personally, probably near sixty seventy. I can't really say more than that. Um, because that's, that's just the way, you know, it, it goes. Um, things I regret not doing. Um, I think probably, like I said, getting out more, you know, going out to places and stuff. But again, due to the way I was years ago, that's just the way I was. And I think even, like, trying to ask girls out. I know, again, that's a bit of a strange thing, but sometimes you have that what if feeling where you think, what if I ask that person out? I like, you know, I think that woman is very, very attractive. What if I ask her out and I don't do that and you end up thinking the whole what if thing? It's the way it, way it goes for a lot of people, you know what I mean? Um, and I think experiencing new things. Uh, Favourite holiday? Um, I'm not really into actually, I'm not really into holidays, so I'm not, it's just the way it goes. Uh, happiest memory? Um, singing in the Royal Albert Hall back in 2008 when I was 13. Loved it all, really, really amazing. I think I probably might do a story about that, you know, on this channel. Uh, best friends' names, um, bestest friends' names, uh, certain friends I've got, um, well, currently I have two friends, um, one is a friend of mine from school, Emily, and she's, she's an absolute friend, a uh, nice person, she's kind of like me, basically, uh, that's, uh, not, not in a bad way, because we have the same, um, like, you know, similarities and stuff, we have the same interests, just love it, and a friend of mine, Aidan, again, you know, is, um, um, he, 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 we have the same similarities basically love everything um, and last question does my family know about my YouTube channel uh, yes they do <laughs> my family knows about my YouTube channel and stuff originally I didn't want to tell them but they ended up finding out anyway and again you'll find more about that in my upcoming um, you know history of my YouTube channel basically Um but now they love it, you know, they, they always ask me, you know, sometimes ask me, how's your blog doing, Dominic? Is it going good, you know what I mean? And I was telling my mum the other day, my mother says, I said, oh, you know, just like, just like, you know, I've recently reached 71 subscribers. It's like, oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, um, that's just the way it goes, really. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was a lot better than, you know, the one before. And um, I hope that you all enjoyed this video and stuff. And I just want to say thank you all for watching and, you know, subscribing and everything. And a shout out, shout out to both uh, Bethany and Evil Melon for leaving me those questions. As well as in the previous video, um, Emily and um, Agent Aiden 7 So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and my next video will be uploaded tomorrow. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching and see you later. Bye.